Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Coveted Consultant. Let me warn you in advance, this video is not going to be very fancy with flashing lights. There is something that um, I just got off a group coaching call and, th and th there's an issue that came up that I think is directly relevant to you. And so I wanted to summarize the issue um, so you know that it's real, that it's a very real business, business issue. So the core of this issue is that productizing forces you to focus and focusing can be scary. Focusing can feel risky. So what's the basic story here? The basic backstory is that there's a, a gentleman inside the coaching program who has um, generally accepted business or done work with any type of client. So anybody who would buy what he's selling or would appreciate his services, he was, he, was, he was willing to work with that company. Does that sound familiar? Like, isn't that all of us? Like, we've all gone through that thing of where you'll offer anything that anybody will buy. But now that he's in the program and he's, and he's doing, doing the hard work, he's being honest and he's saying, there, there are a pocket of clients that I just cannot support anymore. It, it, it is draining. It is, um, it is, it's not fun. Uh, put any words you want here. It's just, it's not working for me. So here's the way he described it. What he said was, I can't be in this business if I'm serving bad clients. And he, def and he defined bad clients. And there, there were three core things he said to define bad client. He said, I can't work with combative clients. I can't work with under-informed clients. I can't work with under-committed clients. Now, those three words didn't just pop out of his mouth. We had to have some conversation. We kind of found out. We got, kind of got to the essence. But those three things are what finally came forward. This idea of being combative, the idea of being under-informed, the idea of being under-committed. So, combative. These are people who are always beating you up on your pricing. It's like the moment you tell them what they what it what it charges, they immediately have comebacks and they want to they want you to renegotiate and give them a discount and blah 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 blah, or they just talk bad to you for the entire sense of the deal. They just they're combative people, right? Okay, the underinformed. These are folks who when when, you, when we when we when they signed on, everything was fine. But then six days later, six weeks later, six months later, they're throwing up their arms like they had no idea uh, why we're doing this. Where are we? What are we doing? Who said we were going to be doing this? And they're, they're blaming all of that on you. They were under-informed, right? They didn't know enough before they got started with the, with the arrangement. Then there's the under-committed. These are people that are waiting for one bad thing to happen. And when that one bad thing happens, they want the whole thing to go away. They want, they want, they want their money back. They, 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 you know, they, they want to refund the whole thing and they want to, they want to rewind everything once that one bad thing happens. So what I said, I'm going to say to you what I said to him and what, to my client and what I believe is a fundamental value of productizing. These three issues that, that, that he's experiencing, and maybe you're experiencing them too, these three issues can be designed out of your business. You do not have to accept combative clients. You do not have to accept under-informed clients. You do not have to accept under-committed clients. You do not have to. In fact, you can, you can excuse them from your business whenever you get ready. But here's the trade-off. Here's what that means when you decide to function in this new way. That means that you're gonna have to say no to possible business. People are gonna bring you a deal, it's gonna sound so good up front, and you're gonna go, you know what? This doesn't fit the way, the way we wanna work. Your, your project isn't the best project for us. We have to pass on this deal. We have to pass on this project. You're taking those deals right now, and they sounded good up front, and they beat you up on the, on the back end. So if you'll commit, if you'll, if you'll commit, if you'll focus, then you can hear that's that's not a bad that's not, that's not a good deal. Like you'll hear the bad deal up front, and so you can just simply excuse it. No yelling, no screaming, no bad talking, no crazy argument. You just simply pass because you know that that deal isn't the best fit for you. Now, all that sounds like good business talk, but when it's time to execute what I'm describing, you feel the risk of this. It feels really risky. It feels safe. To, to sell services to anybody that will buy. I mean, that's the point is to make money, right? And so you, you'll sell to anybody who's willing to buy. 
it, on the back end, what happens? You get beat up. So you say yes to these little bitty deals that you shouldn't say yes to. And that deal stays little bitty for the next nine months. And you're still trying to figure out why am I taking this little bitty money for this long arrangement? Right? That's saying yes to every single deal. But that it feels risky. When, when someone like me says, you should make a decision, you should focus on doing this kind of work and doing it well. And one part of you goes, yep, I should. And the other part of you goes, but if I do that, I say no to this. And I'm saying that is 100% true. When you say yes to this, you are saying no to that. You're saying no to the bad deal. You're saying yes to the good deal. 